This is Sekakeng, a small village of 700 inhabitants located in the Limpopo province in the north of South Africa. In remote districts like this, access to the banks can be difficult. As a result, various initiatives aim to provide microfinance to as many locals as possible. In this area, group loans are often extended to women like Lina Masipa. Lina established a company in 1992. <laughs> In this part of South Africa, the Small Enterprise Foundation offers loans to the most marginalized groups with a focus on women in particular. These women, together with the initiative, manage and control their own finances. Weekly meetings are organized to ensure that finance is balanced and interest is paid. We have a structure that's called center, that's usually village-based. So one village, one um, center. Typically, the, these groups of five women, they meet twice a month in this center meeting. Each group is dealt with on, on group basis, but they meet there and that's where the payments are. Uh, that's where the payment happens, they pay together with the center. And uh, that's also where we do our disbursements. So the disbursements are done at the center, so that every single member of the center knows how much individual member got. The other side, what we do in certain uh, of our centers now, is uh, HIV education and agenda empowerment. Uh, we're partnering with an organization called IMAGE and they basically provide training sessions in our center meeting. Major disparities are evident between the rich and the poor. Microfinance Institute's attempt to assist disadvantaged women like Lina Masiba to become self-sufficient by means of a group loan. 